What's up, y'all? So, for today's video, I wanted to share with y'all some of the cute slash almost unique Valentine's Day candy that they have, or treats, I should say, that they have in the Dollar Tree. Um, I didn't get every last product, but I got the ones that I felt was cute. So let's get into it. Now this first one is this chocolate rolls. Now, let me say this. I personally don't eat chocolate from the Dollar Tree. But I have had some that were gifts that I gave away to other people for them to try. When I say other people, it was likely my kids. So, according to the kids, the Dollar Tree chocolates are nasty. They don't like them. They just feel like they are super horrible. So, this chocolate rose. Okay, it's actually shaped like a rose. But we're going to put that back in there. It's actually shaped like a rose. I'm not going to try it because like I said... I don't eat off-brand chocolate, Dollar Tree chocolates, whatever. <gasps> I broke it, y'all. Look at that. I done broke the rules. Pressed down too hard and I broke it. That's a wrap for the rolls already. But it is on a plastic stem. And I broke it. So that was the first thing I bought that was now destroyed. The second thing is this cotton candy. Now, cotton candy, I could rock with just a little bit. I'm not really a sweet fan, but you know, for those of y'all who are, this is the cotton candy. It doesn't tell me the flavor, but it is Valentine's inspired by the cup. Sweet for you. And then it has a little sweetheart, a little different be mine. Fun sweet, text me, you're cute, etc. So that's the second thing. The next thing I got is the Valentine's Day hot chocolate little bombs. If y'all remember, they had those for Christmas. And then according to the kids, they ain't popping. So, I got another one. This is actually heart-shaped. I'm not going to press down. It's it's real empty inside. So I'm not going to press down like I did the other one. Like I did the rose and bust it. But. You know the vibe. So that's that. Maybe the little kids. The smaller kids would enjoy these. But yeah. Oh, and it has marshmallows on the inside. So that's what I was reading. And then you could put the two in from here. So maybe these will be like great gifts for a teacher. The next thing I got is these spoons. Y'all saw those for Christmas. Those of you who follow me uh, and watch my channel, you get the notifications. 
and I did get this for Christmas for the kids and they hated them as well. And I just broke it again. Like I'm just being too harsh with the stuff. Y'all look at that. I, I just tore it up. It's all broken on the inside. But y'all see it. Uh, stir the spoon into your favorite warm drink. Uh, snap off one spoon at a time to create five individual spoons. And I failed at that because I broke it already. Place thumbs in the bowls of the spoon. And that's just showing you how to open it. And again, it has a tooth and thumb in there. The next thing I got was this hot tamale cotton candy. Fierce cinnamon flavor. I thought this was cute. I think I saw it maybe one other time, but what better time than now? It's red. It can represent your little sweethearts. Oh, y'all saw that smoke come out of that? that was... It's not giving hot tamale, though. The smell of it is not. It's. I don't know what it's giving, but we're going to get the kids to try these. And they can tell me how it tastes. Next, I have these little heart shape. If I can open it. But it's basically just a heart shaped chocolate, piece of chocolate. It has a two on farm on the back as well. Again, you could get this for the classmates, whoever have a child. Yeah. And it's just a regular chocolate heart. So, that's it. Nothing unique. Just a piece of chocolate. In the shape of a heart. And they got the little dogs on the front. I wolf you. Cute. This one is a chocolate frog. Totally yours. You know how the toads turn into the bra? That's what that's supposed to be. I keep being so harsh with these boxes. To and from on the back, like the other. This one ain't got no plastic that is sitting in. It's just sitting in the box. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a DIY with with these because they already nasty. I don't know what kind of project I will do. But we'll we'll figure that out. The next I thought this was super cute, y'all. Oh my gosh. So it's a card coming from Happy Valentine's Day. And then you have a little maze game right here on the back. But the chocolate is actually a maze game. Have your fun and eat it too. Got all that Trey song from? That cake song? I'm going to play that for y'all. Hold on. But, um. It just says edible candy ball. I was trying to read to find out what kind of ball this is for y'all, but uh, it's just a edible candy ball. So we don't have no more other instructions. And I'm trying to play this upside down. But anyway, y'all get the concept because, um, yeah.
and there you have it i won oh it dropped back i why didn't think that plastic was gonna move like that it's pretty easy y'all so knock yourself out with it all right i'm gonna hold the plastic so y'all can see why i won for real okay so that's that yay super cute This is the traditional, traditional Valentine's Day candy. Like, it got all the different flavored chocolates. I don't know. I, I might have ate this when I was a kid. I definitely don't remember it as an adult. And I'm not about to try it right now. But the back says that it has one chocolate caramel. A truffle, an orange cream, a strawberry cream, and a regular caramel. So, we're going to bust it open. I done open everything else. I might as well open this. It's up to maze because I didn't want the ball to fall out. Yeah. Oh. So that's that. Y'all, I thought I lost another piece. Now I gotta hold it. I would, first of all, oh, it do show me. So that the piece that I dropped was orange cream. I might open that for y'all. Let's see if I could break it. I, oh, yep. Oh, no, that is nasty. <laughs> That is nasty, but it's orange cream, y'all. It's trash now. Oh, my goodness. Imagine what that tastes like. Why would you put those two together? Okay, I'm back, y'all. All right, now. But it's the last one. I don't know if y'all remember these. Ugh. I don't even remember what this tastes like but if i had to guess i'm gonna say they nasty therefore i'm not trying this this is first of all let me back up this is why i even had grabbed a shopping cart in the first place because of this item right here this item right here i was like okay well if i'm gonna get one let me just go ahead and shop around and get some more treats but I had went in there and I seen this earlier and then I doubled back and went back and was like, I'm going to get that. But y'all, I don't even know how they how they expect somebody to write the to and from section in on this plastic. But uh, this is what I had went for. <laughs> y'all see that? The Cupid Love Potion. And it got a QR code on the back. I'm going to try it and see where it go at. Because, um, scan or call for more information. I know y'all remember these. No, I'm not about to put it to my lips. I'm not about to try it. Oh, I thought it came as one little pack. It did, and somebody else broke it. I ain't break this one this time, y'all. But it comes like this. And you used to have to... I don't even know how we got the top open. Let me wait. I'm guessing you're just supposed to chew this off or something. <gasps> Everything just so easy. Everything is so easy to open, y'all. I ain't even pulled that hard. And I don't. You know what it smell like? It smell like it could have been good. But then it also smells like the uh, the little hugs, juices that they used to give y'all back in the day at the um, at the cookout, at the family functions or whatever. The grown people had the sodas and the churn had the hugs, juices. That's what this smell like. Y'all smell that. <sighs> mm -mm. It's a no for me. 
It's a strong no for me. Now I gotta clean off my little pack. But when I get home, the turn is trying this, okay? Yeah, I done messed that up pretty bad. Now I gotta go wash my hands again and the packaging and everything else. So, um, I'm going to be back again. We're back. I had to clean up. But anyway, the last thing that I bought was these tiny conversation hearts. Y'all seen these? These are a real popular Valentine's Day product. And I got four bags because when I did the last DIY project with the giant ring pop, you know, the life-size ring pop, in which these other items, you can easily fill some of these inside the ring pop uh, that I made a few days ago. But like I said, they had ran out of these, so I had got some more. And usually... I ride around with my hot glue gun and some extra sticks in my car at all times. But yesterday, for whatever reason, I took it out my car. So now I can't do this other DIY project uh, that I wanted to try with these. Which I don't even know if I'm going to have the patience for. I got to go back and get some tweezers because my nails have grown out so much. I won't be able to stick the candy on the hot glue to put it on the DIY project that I'm about to do. But I'm going to try it anyway. We're going to see how that turn out. But I love my hot glue gun, so I won't be doing that today. Um, I'll probably be doing that tomorrow and show you guys, as always, how that turns out. But stock up on your Valentine's Day candy. Uh... Some of you guys that are uh, teachers, if you're not a teacher, you have children that go to school, so they have teachers, or or if your child is still young enough, um, they are still doing the gift exchange or Valentine's Day exchange stuff in class. So these are some great items. Uh, me, personally, I will put all of this in a gift bag box or whatever I make. Um pertaining to valentine's and this would be my teacher's edition along with some other things because i wouldn't want it to all be stuff that they can't use or they wouldn't like the chocolate or whatever so i would have to make use of that for something else or whatever all of these are open now so now the kids are going to have to be the guinea pigs to try this stuff out but had I not opened it for this video, it was most definitely going to get gifted to probably my kids for um, my class or my children are older. So none of their teachers, uh, they probably don't even do gift exchange or whatever in class. But it was going to get used for a good cause. <laughs> but now it's all open, so whatever. Um, but y'all have seen what I have purchased. Uh, hopefully that give y'all some type of idea or it'll make you head to the dollar store to stock up on whatever you need to get for this Valentine's Day season. And hopefully the person is grateful. But yeah, that's it for this video. I am out. Till next time.